So today's the day that we're going to be testing Dinner Dan, Izzy's idea for a household robot. And Ruth's going to be coming over in a bit so we can test him out. But I thought I might be a little bit cheeky. I'm not supposed to, but I thought I might get Dinner Dan to make me a little bit of breakfast. But shh, don't tell Ruth. Kids invent stuff. Kids invent. Household robots. So Ruth's here. Hi, I'm Ruth. And I'm Sean. This is definitely the first time I've seen Dinner Dan today. And today is testing. So we've got Dinner Dan here and we're going to test him and see what he can do. So he's got these arms we've built for him with these built-in servo motors so the arms can move. And on this side we've got um, an electric drill that we can mount various attachments on for peeling and chopping fruit. And on this arm here we have his cutlery arm, so it's got each bit of cutlery and that will like rotate. Uh, and then at the front here we have our cupboard which is full of Izzy's favourite drink. And below the cupboard we've got our toaster so Dinner Dan can make toast. And at the bottom we've got um, an oven so that Dinner Dan can cook us our dinner. So there's only one way to test Dinner Dan. And that's with dinner. Let's go shopping. Now that Dinner Dan has been to the shops and is ready to cook, it's over to Sean to explain Dinner Dan's peeler arm. So we've got three attachments for Dinner Dan's arm. We've got a peeler attachment, the peeler on the end here, that mounts on the side, and then we've got a little spike that goes on the end. And you can stick potatoes and apples on the end of the spike, and then the motor will spin around, peeling it. We've also got a rotating cutting blade that we can stick on there and use to cut fruit and vegetables and that again fits in, fits in the end there. And finally, we've got a whisk, so Dinner Dan can whisk up things like eggs and cream, and again, that fits in the end there, and we just screw it up tight, um, so Dinner Dan can whisk some stuff. Thanks, Dan. So we've tested all of Dinner Dan's functions, but there's just one more thing to try. And that's the oven. Thanks, Thanks Dinner, Dinner Dan. Dan. Thank you to Izzy for her amazing invention idea. We love Dinner Dan. 
and thank you for all your water crossing contraptions. Join us next week to find out which one of those we'll be making. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a like. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. See you later. Kids invent stuff.